Bible was written a very long time ago, it has many stories and parables in it that can help us to make sense of the world we live in. The Bible can also help us to understand how we are feeling and how we can cope with those feelings. Before the half-term holiday, we thought about how God looks after us when we feel afraid. We heard different parts of King David's story and how he trusted that God would keep him safe. We also heard the story of Pentecost, when Jesus' friends went from hiding in a room together, terrified, to running out and speaking to thousands of people because God had filled them with the Holy Spirit. But God doesn't just care for us when we are afraid. In our new series, which takes us to the summer holidays, we will be looking about other feelings. Today, that feeling is loneliness. God cares when I am lonely. So let's go into the book to the story of Elijah and the widow. If David was the best king that God's people had, then Ahab was the worst. He didn't love God, trust God or listen to God at all. Instead, he and his wife, Queen Jezebel, worshipped a statue called Baal and encouraged all his subjects to do the same. Elijah was one of God's prophets, God's messenger if you like. He trusted God, loved God and listened to God and tried to encourage other people to do the same. Elijah went to King Ahab with a message from God. Your Majesty, God says what you are doing is wrong. There's going to be no dew or no rain until you stop worshipping Baal. Well, King Ahab thought this was a joke until the drought started. There was no rain and no dew, just as Elijah had warned, and the crops were unable to grow. So did this mean that King Ahab changed his ways? Stopped worshipping Baal? Of course not. Instead, he just got angry with Elijah. So angry, in fact, that God told Elijah that he needed to go and hide. So Elijah ran away. He hid in a deep ravine, far away from King Ahab, far away from anybody. God looked after Elijah in the ravine. There was a brook that ran down the middle of the ravine, providing Elijah with fresh water. God also sent ravens in both the morning and evening with bread and meat for Elijah to eat. Elijah had food and water, but he was alone. There was still no rain in the land, so the brook dried up. Elijah trusted God, and so when God told him to leave the ravine and go to a place called Zarephath, he did. God told Elijah he needed to look out for a woman, a widow, a woman whose husband had died, and she would look after him. When Elijah got to Zarephath, he saw the widow picking up sticks. Excuse me, please could you give me a little water to drink? And also, could, could you give me some bread, please? I'm very sorry, but I can get you some water. I don't have any bread. Just a handful of flour and a little oil. I'm gathering these sticks. So I can build a fire to make one last loaf for myself and my young son. When we've eaten it, we're going to die. Please bake me a loaf first, and then bake one for yourself and your son. God promises that there will be always oil in, in your jug and flour in the jar until the rain returns. The woman trusted Elijah's God and did as Elijah had asked. There was enough food every day for Elijah, the widow and her son. Just as God had promised through Elijah, there was always flour in the jar and oil in the jug. It never ran out. Elijah stayed with the woman and her son. God provided food and water and some company. Elijah was not alone. Sometime later, the widow's son became very ill. He became weaker and weaker until sadly he died. The widow's heart was broken. Now she had no one left in the world. She was alone. (laughs) 
Elijah felt her pain and grief and understood her fear of being alone. And so he said to her, Take, take me to your son. So she took him to the boy's room where he was laid on his bed. Elijah knelt down next to the boy and prayed. Please show compassion to this woman who's looked after me. Let the boy live again. Elijah prayed this prayer three times. God listened and the boy began to breathe. Come and look now, your son is alive. The woman ran into the room as fast as she could and then she turned to Elijah and said Now I know that you really are God's servant and everything he, he tells you to say is the truth. Thank you. I shall not be alone. Thank you for giving me my son back. Both Elijah and the widow were having a hard time. They both had to trust God to provide for them. Food, water and companionship. It's not good when you feel lonely. When you feel completely alone because no one understands or is not there for you. Elijah knew how it felt to be alone. And that is why he wanted to help the widow by bringing her son back to her. He felt compassion for her. He understood her suffering. Now I would like you to close your eyes and think how it would feel to be alone. What could we do to help someone who is feeling like that? Now I'm going to say a prayer. And if you want to make it your prayer, please say Amen at the end after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for... Thank you that you want to help us when we're feeling lonely and that you're always with us. Help us to think about ways we can help others who are feeling alone. Amen.